So since we don't have much of a schedule anymore, I'm just going to show you how to set up a singularity as a station engineer in Space Station 13. Let's begin, shall we? Alright, so first things first. Despite what anybody may have told you, space is actually a very cold vacuum with no oxygen. So, you're going to need a hard suit. Let's suit up. Setting up a singularity is one of the simplest things to do, but it's laden with many mistakes that could lead to destruction of entire station. One of the few mistakes that new people make when setting up the singularity is not removing the beacons from the center of the site. It's imperative that you make sure that there is only one beacon within the site. With one beacon on the site, it's now time to set up the force field generators. This force field will contain our singularity and make sure that it doesn't destroy the entire station. The field generators require power, and that is transmitted through the emitters. The emitters shoot beams of energy into the field generator, powering it. Once you've turned on all the emitters, it's now time to turn on the field generator. Simply go around and click on all the buttons of each field generator. Make sure you don't trap yourself within, or else you're doomed. With all the generators on, you should see a nice blue force field surrounding the site. With that complete, it's now time to set up the radiation collection arrays. With the type of singularity we decided to create, radiation will emit from the singularity, collected by the arrays, and then turned into energy, which is used by the station. Plasma is used and exhausted in this process. We'll need to fill each array with a plasma tank. With all the arrays filled with plasma tanks, it's now time to construct the particle accelerator, which will create our singularity. After bolting down each component of the particle accelerator, we then need to wire them and then close the access panel. Once that's complete, we'll use the computer to run a scan of all parts of the particle accelerator. Setting the strength of the particle accelerator to 2 is recommended to get your singularity started. Since the nature of a singularity is quite dangerous, we can use this monitor here 
to watch the creation process on the cameras outside on the site. When the singularity is first created, it's still very weak. We'll leave the particle accelerator still on at power 2 until it reaches stage 3. At this stage, it will produce enough energy to power the entire station. Once our singularity has reached stage 3, it's a good idea to set the particle accelerator to 0, as leaving it at 2 will turn the singularity to a stage 4, which will break out of the force field and destroy the entire station. With all that set up, it's now time to configure the batteries, or SMES. These things will store the energy and disperse the energy just as you set it. Different players like to use different numbers when setting up the SMES. For me, I like to max out the input from the singularity while setting the output to 95,000. This will make sure that anybody tampering with any of the wires on the station won't be electrocuted lethally, but they'll still get a good shock out of it. Once you've set up the SMES, well, you're done. Now you just have to babysit this thing and make sure no one messes with it. And that in a nutshell is how you set up a singularity in Space Station 13. Hopefully this is helpful to some people, and hopefully it got you into Space Station 13 a little bit. I did definitely leave out a lot of work hazards that can happen while setting up the singularity and I'll let you figure those out on your own. Anyway, hope to see you at the stream, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye